decided to take AP statistics because I'm pretty good in math. Last year I took um, honors algebra two. So this year I just decided to take it the next step and just go with um, AP. I decided to take AP Spanish because I thought it would offer me a challenge academically and also allow me to be a part of a network of AP, AP students here at Heights. Um, and also I thought the weighted AP grade was nice to go in my transcript as well. This class is just one step in my journey to being fluent and taking an AP class helps you gain knowledge or bolster your knowledge in a way that regular academic classes don't. I think it's important that the students take AP classes because at that level it's a culmination of all the different skills taught in um, beginning levels and intermediate levels. It's also refreshing to see and for the students to use the language um, in terms of um, communicating verbally and in written form and also being able to present on topics other than simple topics learned in the first couple of years. A lot of the AP teachers are really fun and although the classes are hard, you learn a lot of material and it's kind of rewarding once you finish a test. You're like, wow, look at all of this I know. And it's, it's fun because you're like, you know things that your parents don't and they're like, what did you learn today? And you're like, well, I learned about the anatomy of an atom. And they're like, oh, that's nice. Overall, I'm, I'm loving the class. I'm loving the environment of the class. Ms. Bukovec, she cracks some jokes, we all laugh. So it's, very, it's a very friendly environment. classes are really the stepping stone from high school into a more collegiate environment. So any student that is seriously considering a four-year college or even honestly a two-year college should really seriously consider taking an AP course. Um, the level of responsibility, the degree of academic intensity and rigor uh, is just that much higher and it's really going to set students up to be successful in their freshman years of college. What might typically be a B in another class is actually an A in an AP class because it's weighted. So colleges also look at that. Like they look at what courses you take and AP classes just reflect greatly on students. So for students that are pushing towards going to college, then I think AP classes would be a great thing for them to take. I feel like some African Americans don't um, engage in, like, in AP classes because they feel like their uh, uh, the demographic is is pretty different. Like they see a lot of Caucasian students in that class, and then they say, "Hey, that's pretty scary. I don't I don't know if I if I would really want to be in that class because I don't see people that I know." So if if there were more African Americans in the class, and they would feel like, "Hey, maybe this is something I could do," and then the belief starts to come, and then we'll eventually see more students in there. Like everyone has the same brain in their body; it doesn't matter what color your skin is. And in order to exercise that muscle, you have to push yourself further. And AP classes do just that; they make you work harder for a goal that gets you further ahead in life. Equal Opportunity Schools is a nonprofit that works with schools and school districts to close the disparity gap in the students of color taking AP courses. Some of the barriers in, include not having the knowledge, not being encouraged by adults that they trust, um, thinking that the courses are going to be too difficult for them and their own mindset. Knowledge is definitely power. That in a sense of belonging. It is important that students feel like they belong in those classes, that they're welcome in those classes. That along with the support are the two key things that will allow students to be, who have not taken AP courses to be successful in them. They have to feel that they should be there and they have to have the support in case they need some extra help. Um, I feel very supported and comfortable in my classes. There's people of different races, different ethnicities everywhere so I feel like 
we're supported and even to further that we have group chats, we're all in group chats and we help each other. Nobody's alone in the class and we're learning at the same time and rate. The teachers offer different methods so that every student can succeed in those classes. And if you need to come after school, they're always willing to help. And like Jaden said, there are like group chats and study groups that I see and like meet with over the weekends. And we all work together on homework. And it's easier, I feel like, to talk to those teachers because they want you to succeed so badly because they know they're giving you hard material that they'll do anything to try to help you. I'd just like to say that Cleveland Heights University High School demands rigor of all of their students. And they're working very hard for students to have academically rigorous courses. And as we talk about students who are either looking at CTE courses, taking college courses right now, or just working hard so that they can prepare themselves to go on to college, that we are here to help students as they work towards their goals and know that the school is behind them and know that they can do well and will provide the supports that they need in order to be successful. Well, I would say my advice would be to be committed, work hard, and the results will pay off in the end. I would say to go ahead and take the AP classes. You have teachers who want to see you succeed. Nobody wants to see you fail, as well as your classmates. You guys are all in it together, and it'll be beneficial to you.